Hello, uh, my name is Lindsay, and today I'm going to help you solve the maze without any game passes. I know a lot of people are using fast flight speed to get a head start, a shortcut to solve the maze. I'm going to show you how to do it without the game pass. And if there's any weird jump cuts in the video, it's probably because one of the ghosts got me. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to enter the maze. And real quick, let me turn down my graphic so it brightens it up for you. So I'm going to turn my graphic quality down because a lot of you guys last year said that really helped. So we are going to enter the maze and we are going to take a left. And now we are just going to follow this pathway for quite a while actually. So you'll see this a pumpkin. We're just gonna go past it like this. You will see a candle and a purple crystal. We're going to go past those just following the path. And you will see this pumpkin right here. We are just going to go past it. You'll see another candle. And you'll see a cobweb and two crystals. We're going to go through the crystals just like this. Now we're going to go down this pathway. You'll see a blue crystal right here. And you will see a pumpkin. And Behind the pumpkin, you'll see water with a chest. I believe that's the My Dolly. And now we are going past this blue crystal right here. And now we are going past this purple crystal. We are going past these green crystals right here. And once you are past the green crystals, you're going to be at the top of this hill. And you will see this orange pumpkin right here. And then to the left, you'll see these spikes. We are going past the spikes. You see a candle. A pumpkin. And you will see a candle right here. We're going to go past this candle. And when you come to the second candle, we are going to take a left. And once you're here, you're going to look up and you are going to jump and you will see these pumpkin lights and you will see these cobwebs. We are going to jump up this wall right here. So we're going to jump. Oh my gosh, I am caught. So go ahead and jump. It does help, I think, to be in Delicate Princess. Although if you're watching me attempt to do this, you're probably thinking I am lying. Delicate Princess does not help, but I promise you it does. I'm just really terrible at jumping up walls, but I've done this perfectly before. There we go. I got up and now I'm going to jump up this wall as well. So we did two jumps. And what we need to do is jump over to the other side. So when you get to be about here, you're going to want to jump. So I like to walk back and then go forward and jump. And you might have to try this a few times. So an extra tip is to do the first jump. I do find it easier to have my run speed off and then jump up and then when we get to the second jump that's when i like to turn my run speed on so you're gentle and then forceful that's how i like to do it And I did it. So if you're not able to do it like right away, don't feel bad. You just saw me take forever to do it. So this is take two from getting messed up by a ghost. So what we're going to do is come over here. You will see the light. Don't go down, go up. 
and you should see a purple crystal right here. Now be careful when you come up here because you don't want to fall down that hole. So make sure you hug the wall to get over here. And I forgot I had my run speed on. I'm sorry, I took it off now. So now what we need to do is come down here. We're going to fall down this hole. So just keep going down. You will see a cobweb and a candle right there. So now what we need to do is come up here, follow the green, and you will see a candle. We are going towards the candle. So go towards the candle and you will see green right here. We are going to follow the green and it kind of loops down to right here. So we are going to fall down this hole right here. And you should see a pumpkin right here. This means we are almost done. So we're going past the pumpkin. We are going past the crystal. And we are going up here. This false wall is the end of the maze. I already have my badge already, which I am not going to show you yet. I'm going to get in here where it's safe. And here we have the chest, but just to show you that I have the badge already, it's right here. So I do have the badge because I found it once on accident and then I had to retrace my steps. It took all day. So real quick, I'm going to take a picture of the treasure chest. And now we are going to open the chest. Let's see what it is this year. I know a lot of people are hoping for Whimsy Witch Leaves, but I guess we shall see what it is. That's the Steampunk Wings again with 2,000 candy. Um, it's okay that we got the Steampunk Wings because you do need the wings to complete the Steampunk set. So it's actually a good thing we got the wings instead of the Whimsy Witch Leaves. And so we got our prize. And I guess... Let's see, congratulations, you've won. Run your body here to get out of here. So I will do that. And we are back at the beginning. So that is how you can beat the maze. No game pass route, and I hope it helped you. And please make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you never miss when I post. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.